Hello everyone, welcome to All History Channel. Ghana should always celebrate Dr. Kwame Nkrumah for the good things he did for the country, which I don't think any president has been able to do same or even been able to restore the abandoned factories which have been left in bushes. Kwame Nkrumah built a lot of factories that are abandoned in Ghana which I'm gonna let you know in this video. All you need is to subscribe to the channel and let's continue with our conversation. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah the first Prime Minister and President of Ghana, having led the Gold Coast to independence from Britain in 1957. An influential advocate of Pan-Africanism, Nkrumah was a founding member of the Organization of African Unity and winner of the Lenin Peace Prize in 1962. Born to Kofi Ngonloma of the Asona clan and Elizabeth Nyaniba of the Anona clan at Enkrofal in the western region of what was then known as the Gold Coast, Nkrumah led the West African nation to gain its independence from Britain in 1957. This feat made it the first country on the continent to gain its independence. Kwame Nkrumah's administration was both nationalist and socialist. Thus, it funded national industrial and energy projects, developed a strong national education system and promoted a national and pan-African culture. He really worked hard in his term of office and built many factories in Ghana. Nkrumah is fondly remembered for the improved roads, schools, hospitals, factories, the Okosombo Dam, the Tima Harbour, Tima Motorway and economic stability, just to mention a few. In this video, you will get to know some 15 factories that were built by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and these are Number 1. Akosombo Textiles Limited Akosombo Textiles Limited now called Akosombo Industrial Company Limited, was established in 1967 by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The factory is currently at Akosombo, Ghana. Number 2. Wenkai Tomato Factory this tomato processing factory is located at Wenkai in the Brongahafo region. Wenkai Tomato Factory was constructed by a Yugoslavian company and was completed in 1961. Number 3. Bulgatanga Rice Mills. The factory had been closed down in the 1990s and was handed over to a private operator who used it as a storage space. Bulgatanga Rice Mills which was one time the Rice City, now cannot boast of a single supermarket where one can confidently go and buy local rice. Number 4. Zwarungu Meat Processing Factory. The Jihok Zwarungu Meat Product Company Limited in Dulugu, with its raw materials coming from neighboring Burkina Faso, Mali and other countries, started large production in 1965 with over 1,000 can beef produced each day, but was closed down in 1995 due to mismanagement. Number 5. Pualugu Tomato Canning Factory. Built by Nkrumah decades ago, the Pualugu Tomato Factory provided a ready market for tomato farmers and also many indirect jobs for the people of the Upper East region. The factory could not survive due to bad management and lack of raw materials, in this case, fresh tomatoes from farmers in the northern part of the country to run the factory. Number 6. Glass Factory at Aboso. In 1996, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah commissioned the Aboso Glass Factory which cost 9 million sadies. The factory was once a vibrant company that manufactured and supplied glasses and bottles for the beverage industry in Ghana but currently not in operation. Number 7. Kumazi Shoe Factory. The factory, established in 1960 by Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, collapsed in the 1970s only to be revived in 2009 and is about to fold up again 10 years after it was revived. Number 8. Tarkwa Bonsa Factory. Tarkwa Bonsa Factory was established by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and is located at Bonsa in Tarkwa. That factory is close to the massive rubber plantations wherein the needful raw materials can be available without problems of delay in the manufacturing of tires. Bonsa Tire Factory suffered a similar fate as that of the Aboso Glass Factory inside the western region. The factory used to manufacture the famous Firestone wheel tires, has additionally collapsed with the government reputedly showing no subject. Number 9. Cade Match Factory. Number 10. Salt Pond Ceramics. Number 11. Takaradi Flour Mill. Number 12. Bamboo Factory. Number 13. Tima Food Complex. Number 14. Nsawam Cannery. 
Number 15. Takaradi Paper Mill. And there are a lot I couldn't mention, but have you ever asked when are they are going to be restored? Thank you for watching. You can like, comment and share, but kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't to get more videos.